Well, the 12th annual Eddie Montgomery and Friends Charity Golf Scramble is in concert. It's taking place October 13th to 14th. So we have Sarah Hendricks and Casey Atwood to join us and tell us more about the scramble and more about Casa of the Bluegrass. So thank you so much for being here. Yes, yeah. thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. So let's get to the organization first. Tell us a little bit before we jump into the wonderful scramble about the organization itself. So Casa is actually an acronym. It stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. So what we do as staff and as a program is we provide trained volunteer advocates for children who have been abused or neglected in the family court system. So our volunteers, they visit with the kiddos, um, they keep up with their therapists and schools and all of those things, and then they come to court and they bring their own reports to court and make their own recommendations and just try to make sure that everything's going okay for our kiddos. So in, in other words, they, they try to be something stable for these kids. Exactly, yes. And our classes do commit to stay with that child throughout the entirety of the case. So even though, even if they move foster homes or have different schools and things like that, <clears throat> their cause is the one consistent person throughout them. And they stay with them until either they're returned home or they're adopted or their relative takes permanent custody. So until that child has a permanent safe place to stay, that CASA stays with them. Excellent. And so right now we are looking for ways to help you all so you all can continue to help those children. So how can we do that? One way is through the scramble. Tell us about that. Yes, so we are honored to have been chosen for this year's Eddie Montgomery Charity Golf Scramble and Concert. He's uh, put on this event for this will be the 12th year. Um, and so we are going to be the beneficiaries this year and we are so excited. It's always a fun time. Um, and what that entails is it's both the evening of the 13th and then all day on the 14th. So as a team, if you uh, get a team uh, of golfers together for this scramble, you also get access to Sunday night's VIP meet and greet jam session with Eddie. You also get uh, some goodies that come along with that. And then of course, Monday is the scramble. And then in the evening, uh, the team will have tickets as well as whole sponsors, and then the team gets some extra tickets to take some buddies along for then the dinner and concert that will be held at Old Bridge out on the lawn that evening. So it's it's a two-day event, but it's so fun. Um, we do still have some whole sponsorships available, and we have limited capacity left on uh, our team memberships, but um, we're, we're looking forward to such a wonderful event, um, getting to hang out with Eddie Montgomery, so it'll be great. Oh, and he's a fantastic guy. You're, yeah. you're absolutely right. As far as the golf is concerned, uh, you, you've got, I'm sure, goodie bags that come with all with all the players mm -hmm. and all that stuff, and you've got room for a few more teams. Yes. That's what you said. Yes. So we do have a few more teams team spots available. If you're interested in uh, getting on as a team or even just sponsoring a whole, uh, you can reach out to our director at CASA. Um, her name is Tammy Wilson. You can also visit our website. We have all of this information information listed there and you can purchase tickets. Um, so I highly suggest you check out our website for more information. Mm -hmm. Definitely, we have a uh, QR code on the screen right now. So if you're looking for more information, make sure to take a picture of that QR, or QR code so you can be able to register today and just enjoy some of the wonderful perks that you all have. So if someone's not able to make it to the golf scramble or even participate, can they still donate? Absolutely. So being a nonprofit organization, we are always relying on community support, whether that be financial or in person. So our website is also a great source for that. There's ways to donate through our website. Website. We also have upcoming events, uh, so we're actually at the same time planning our event for November. Uh, it'll be November 15th in Frankfurt, downtown Frankfurt, the Speakeasy Soiree. It'll be a, a murder mystery dinner event. Ooh. We're so excited. Um, and then we have events in the spring, so we're constantly updating our website with ways to be involved, but also to donate. Um, and of course, if you ever want to be a CASA volunteer, uh, starting off on our website is a great place too. Yeah, and we actually, if you are interested in becoming a CASA volunteer, we're having a training starting next week on October 1st in our Frankfurt office. Um, so you can be a CASA in any of the counties in Kentucky. There are programs in almost every county. We have a few, few that aren't, but um, we're working on that. Um, and you don't have to be a resident of the county if you work in a different county. For example, we have some volunteers who work more in Franklin County or in Boyle County, um, and so that's where they choose to volunteer their time. Um, so yeah, if anybody's interested, we have more information about that on our website as well. You can also follow us on social media. It's all just Casa of the Bluegrass, and we're always posting updates and things like that on there. Excellent. Perfect. We appreciate y'all so much, and good luck yeah, with that you. scramble. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, if I plan it, I'll win it, so I just want y'all to know. So, my team. Just saying. <laughs> 
saying. So, anyway. Ladies, he's not that good. 